Now talk about the cutting tools for horizontal milling. Slab mills, side and face cutters and slitting saws. Slab mills for heavy cutting of large and flat surfaces. Side and face cutters. This type of cutters has cutting edges on the periphery and sides of the teeth for cutting shoulders and slurs. Slitting saws for cutting deep slurs or for parting off. There are the pictures of slab mill, side and face cutter, and slitting saw. End mills. These are the cutting tools for vertical milling. First one is end mills commonly used for facing, slotting, and profile milling. Next, face milling cutters. For heavy cutting, face milling cutters are mainly used. Then, slot drills. For producing pockets without drilling a hole beforehand, there are the pictures of end mill, face milling cutter, and slot drill. Dividing or indexing head. Indexing is the operation of dividing the periphery of a workpiece into any number of equal parts. For example, if we want to make a hexagonal bolt, head of the bolt is given hexagonal shape. We do indexing to divide circular workpiece into six equal parts and then all the six parts are milled to an identical flat surface. If we want to cut n number of teeth in a gear blank, the circumference of gear blank is divided into n number of equal parts and teeth are made by milling operation one by one. The main component used in indexing operation is universal dividing head, one of the more important attachments for milling machine. It is also used to rotate workpiece at predetermined ratio to table feed rate which is needed for making helical cutting. Methods of indexing. There are different indexing methods in popularity. These are direct indexing, simple indexing, compound indexing, and differential indexing. Simple indexing consists in turning the spindle through the required angle by rotating the index crank. There is a figure of simple indexing mechanisms. There are index head spindle, worm wheel, worm, worm shaft, index plate and index crank in the figure. The kinematic valence equation for determining the number of revolution of index crank is composed providing that per n revolution of the index crank the spindle turn one by z revolutions where z is the number of parts into which a circumference is to be divided the basic displacements are n revolution of the index crank one by z revolution of the spindle the kinematic balance equation is n into 1 into z divided by z naught is equal to 1 by z, where z is the number of ohm start and z naught is the number of ohm wheel teeth. That means n is equal to z naught divided by z z. In the available dividing head, z is equal to 1 and z naught is equal to 40. That means n is equal to 40 by z and there is a figure. Look out for an example. Do indexing for cutting 37 teeth on the gear blank. Three indexing plates are available. These plates have concentric circles of holes with their different numbers as described below. So there is a table. Plate number 1, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Plate number 2. 21, 23, 27, 29, 31, 33. Plate number 3, 37, 39, 41, 43, 47, and 49. And revelation of the index crank, 1 by z, revelation of the spindle. Here, n is equal to 40 divided by 37 
is equal to 1 plus 3 divided by 37 revelation. To cut 37 teeth on this blanket, an index plate having a circular row with 37 holes should be mounted on the head. The index crank is positioned against the selected circular row and after each tooth is cut, it is turned through one full revolution and three spaces between the index plate holes. For this kind of indexing, it is convenient to use the adjustable sector. This is a dividing head. Look at the figure, index plate and sector. And in the figure B, there are six holes, five spaces, okay? 